Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with Tech Out. This is my third time recording this video. Um, first was GoPro, the audio sucked. Um, second time, autofocus was totally screwy. Uh, so here we are again. Hopefully, it autofocus is good this time. Um, I'm not going to try to manual focus it this whole time I'm walking around. Um, but right here is my desk setup. I've cleaned it up quite a bit. I've cleaned up the office in general quite a bit. Um, carpets vacuumed, all that kind of stuff. Um, so my next project, this video is going to span about two days, um, today, tomorrow, and be uploaded on Friday. Um, today's Wednesday. Right now, that's my current setup. I'm going to try to clean this up a little bit. I'm probably going to leave this how it is just because I don't want to, um, I'm unsure about where I want to put it, and I don't want to take it down to put it back up in a place I'm unsure about. So I'm going to leave it in, in, its, concurrent, in its current configuration, if I can talk. Um, and clean up the wires down there as much as I can. Um, since I pretty much decided on leaving it right here, I'm, I'm going to try to manage the wires a lot better. It probably won't happen that well, but whatever. Um, this desk right here, I kind of have it shifted out about halfway um, on the other one. So you can see right here, it's about halfway out. Um, I don't put it all the way up against the wall just because then I lose that, that space right there. Um, behind the monitor where it's you know up where they're touching each other I, I lose that space so it's kind of pointless um, so to better utilize the space what I've done is I pulled it out like halfway like I said um, this desk is where I record my videos there's my light right there um, I do have another light that I bring up on the side right here um, so I have my computer over here so it's kind of like in that open area as long as the you know as well as the softbox its foot goes up in there um, that kind of hides some of the wires stuff like that. Back behind the monitor I have my hard drive where I store my videos, um, a Google Wi-Fi which is connected to the Ethernet switch under there, and um, under my desk there is a power line Ethernet adapter that's plugged into the power strip. Yeah, I know you're not supposed to plug them into power strips, but it works just fine. Um, so, whatever. You know, if it works, it works. So that's my desk right now. As far as my office, what I'm looking to do is um, Get rid of this, clean that up. Most of that stuff is going to be trash, attic, stuff like that. Totally get out of here. Um, I want to take this apart, get rid of that table. That's actually from my desk before my last desk. So I had the, the glass desk before I had this one right here. Um, and then I had that one. So that was the like the cream colored L shaped desk that I had that you'll see in some of my older videos from like three or four or five years ago. Um, right here we have a TV stand which I use as my kind of like Apple shrine. Um, it's got a bunch of old Apple products on it. We got the iMac G4 right here, um, like the flower pot looking one. Uh, that's the MacBook Pro from the video you guys saw. Come on. Um, some old ones down here. There's an iBook G3 back behind one of those. Uh, Centra 610 keyboard for it, monitor for it. Um, I already cleaned that up. That stuff's kind of just sitting there until it find a spot, finds a spot. Um, but that's been wiped down before I put everything up there. Over here we have um, like the storage area for the office. Uh, that's like the main light for like when I'm not recording videos when I'm just in here. Um, they're like Philips LEDs. Those are kind of like the bulbs before the Philips Hue. Um, so they look like Hue bulbs, but they're not. They're not smart bulbs at all. They're just regular LED bulbs, and they're kind of heavy. That's why they sag down like that sometimes. Um, but we have some IMAX, some Macs over here. Storage, storage, storage behind the trash bag, storage behind the trash bag. Um, like I said. Those are, I don't know if I said it in this video, I've recorded this video so many times I can't keep up with what I've said. Um, but those, that's like all boxes and old products that I'm getting rid of. Um, stuff that's been sent for reviews like crappy headphones and stuff like that. Um, when I say crappy, I don't mean that they're bad quality and that I, you know, reviewed them and said, oh yeah, they're good. No, um, I just mean like I have better stuff that I actually paid for that I would rather use. So I'm getting rid of them because they take up space. Um, the old... Like DIY server rack right here has kind of been dismantled. The servers are still on there, but they're not plugged in. Um, we have a toolbox up here with some uh, screwdrivers and stuff for computers and that kind of stuff. Headphones, keyboard, stuff that I'm not using, but I want to keep. Um, the HP monitor is up there from the server thing. It's just sitting there still. It kind of doesn't take up that much space sitting like that, so whatever. Uh, old Yeti microphone, old HP printer. These will probably go in the attic with the rest of the stuff back on that table. Up here we have boxes, um, which is probably the most organized area of this shelf slash office in general. Uh, we have the Dell monitor box, the Xbox One box, iPad Pro box, the, uh, the Corsair keyboard box, which is one of the ones down there, the Logitech keyboard box, that keyboard's on my desk, the Void RGB, which is that headset right there, 
um, Astro A50s um, for Xbox One. I'll probably sell those or try to sell those on like eBay. I don't use those. I don't play Xbox too much anymore. The Razer Mamba mouse, which is the one I'm currently using, it's also on my desk. Right here is my motherboard box, my iPhone 8 box from the iPhone 8 I unboxed. When I got my iPhone 10, I actually gave that to my mom. And then we have my MacBook Pro box. So that is the office as it sits right now. I'll kind of do little update videos as I, you know, make changes and stuff like that. But like I said, this is going to be a 15, 20, 30 minute long video that spans out over today and tomorrow um, with the work I'm doing in my office. I was just tired of it being dirty in here. There used to be products all over the floor. It wasn't like trash. It's just I had boxes everywhere and I had stuff just laying everywhere and I got tired of it. So it's finally time to clean it up and we're going to finally be doing it. So that's how it is now and I'll update you guys as I progress. Okay, so next thing I want to get done is the wire management under the desk down there. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down my PC. Been having issues with Windows Update. I had to had to pause the updates because I have this one update um, that was released on that was released on the fifth, and it keeps failing to install. Every time I go to install it, it it is reboots, gets to 96% and says, "Oh, hey, we can't." we couldn't install the update and it's undoing the changes and then back we go but anyway here is the wires that we need to manage most of them are stuff plugged into the battery backup right here so I'm going to start by unplugging everything um, as you decide I powered everything off um, this red ethernet cable is no longer needed so right up here um, is the Sigma um, so I'm going to try to get as much stuff as I can in that. Um, there are going to be a couple wires running down though just because of where the placement of stuff is. Um, I'm going to turn the UPS out right here um, so the wires plug into the back and go up um, instead of out and meet with the ones that come out of the computer and going everywhere. So hopefully that will make it look a lot cleaner. So I'm going to start working on that and then I'll come back and let you know what we get. Okay, I know it doesn't look too much better, but I did get a lot of them run up on the top here and confined to that one area where they come down. Um, I'm not going to work on it right now, I'll worry about it right now, but one of the things I will work on later is sorting them all out and kind of untangling them and probably running them down along the leg right there. Um, but I'll have to unplug everything and, and stuff like that and run it out and and tie it up. So I'm gonna, I'll do that later. Um, but as you can see right now, the most part, everything's off the floor. The one coming down right here is for the speakers which I am taking out because I don't use them, I use headphones. So I'm going to take those out, that wire will be gone. Nothing's going to be on the floor right here under the media desk, and it's just going to be this corner right here where everything meets together. Um, which when you're up above the desk, obviously you can't see that right there coming out. So it's a little bit cleaner. I even got the power cable for the UPC, UPS uh, running up along here, coming back down. So that's not sitting on the floor anymore. So overall, um, pretty happy with that. I know it can be better, but just for what I'm doing right now, um, you know, it's not too bad. Um, so now I'm going to clean off the desktop, wipe it down, clean off the keyboard and everything like that, and do the general cleanup for the desk. And then I'll come back and let you know how she looks. Okay, so I actually decided to move my PC over here. Um, it blocks the window on the PC, but it's not a huge deal. For the most part, that cleaned up the wires. You can see there's not a big jumbled mess over here anymore. Sure, we have a couple running down to the battery backup, but obviously stuff has to get plugged into it. Um, the cable for the computer wasn't long enough, so it's still running on the floor. I got a vacuum up under here, now that everything's cleaned up. But it wasn't long enough to go up and through the signal and over, so it's right there. Um, still a couple wires, wires right here. Most of those are from what is running out of it, though. Um, so I'm going to try to tie those up with something um, as best I can. Some of them are kind of short, so they don't you know I can't tie all of them up that's why they're dangling down like that um, but for the most part it cleaned up pretty nice um, as you can see the you know overall like when you're sitting up here you can't really see that you know up under there so it's kinda nice to to be able to look down and have a clean floor um, but other than that I mean it looks pretty good a lot of the monitor cables and stuff like that are now run un up under there so all the excess cable um, cabling and stuff like that is is nicely cleaned up. Um, as far as the top of my desk, I haven't done anything with it yet. I did move my headphone stand over here because the cable was too short to keep it in the corner where it was, but that's fine. I wanted it over there anyway. Um, 
I'm just going to clean off my keyboard with some Lysol wipes. Um, I have my USB hub over here, so my mouse, my keyboard, my wireless transmitter for my headset. Sorry, it keeps going out of focus. Um, the sun keeps changing behind me. Uh, the wireless transmitter for my headset is plugged in there, as well as my Elgato Stream Deck. So, that's how that is. I'm going to take this mat off the desk, clean it off, clean the keyboard off, um, get the crumbs and stuff off the desk, and give it a good wipe down with some Lysol wipes, and get that desk looking like this one. So after that, um, I'll come back and show you what we have there. But overall, it turned out pretty nice for um, for the wire management. I'm definitely happy about how that turned out. It's it's better than it has been. I know it's not perfect, um, but definitely better, like I said, better than it has been. Okay, so I just took this little battery-operated vacuum, and I, well, I vacuumed the, the floor first, the regular vacuum. Um, took the regular battery-operated vacuum, cleaned off the desk and everything, wiped it all down. Um, so we are looking real nice on there. And I took the vacuum and also cleaned up along the top here, got off any cobwebs cleaned all that kind of stuff up um, so that's how it's looking now looking really nice um, finally a really really clean setup so there's that there's all around the desk couple cables laying over there that I um, took off that's actually just my Xbox controller vacuum my chair off wiped it all out there's a couple like crumbs like it's got like this mesh on here so there's a couple crumbs like stuck in between it but um, for the most part I got that all cleaned off um, Xbox controller is going to go back on my desk as soon as that's all done. Um, I still got to get rid of this over here. I'll probably do that later. Um, get rid of that, take that apart, um, and get rid of all that. But so far, the main part of the desk and everything is clean. Trash can, the trash bag ready to go um, so I can keep it clean. I'm going to keep some, uh, like this Clorox wipes I've been using, I'm going to keep those over here. Wipe it down every once in a while. Um, I need to clean off my screens. I did like take the Clorox wipe and clean the base and the bezel and got all the dust off all those. Um, but obviously I need to use something else to clean the actual screen itself. Um, so I'll do that. But for the most part it's looking really good. I'm really pleased on how it's turned out. Um, probably the cleanest my setup's been in a while. That stuff down there is like on the, the plastic uh, chair mat. That's what that is. Um, but overall it's looking really nice. So I'm going to do a actual desk tour um, that will be up a little bit later, a desk slash office tour that will be up a little bit later um, in the next couple weeks. But this is kind of the behind the scenes of me cleaning it up. Um, so the next step I want to do, um, which I'll probably do later, is the storage bins over here. Um, obviously the trash is going to go out and all that kind of stuff, take that to the trash can. Um, but these storage bins, I want to clean them out and repurpose them, not repurpose them, they're still going to be storage bins, but clean them out and get rid of the stuff I don't use, um, reorganize them I guess is what I'm trying to say, reorganize them, um, get my cables properly stored in there, um, my camera equipment properly stored in there, I'll probably end up putting one over here or under this table somewhere um, for my camera equipment for when I'm recording videos, um, so that's probably what I'm going to do, it'll probably be that one right there, um, or sorry no, the one behind the the trash bag right there with the wheel on top of it. That, that one's the newest one I have. Um, so I'm probably going to clean that one out and use that one for my camera equipment. Uh, I got a couple things to pick up off the shelf over here that I've just picked up from around the room. Um, and then like I said, servers will probably stay there. I don't feel like moving those to the attic. They're heavy and long and awkward to carry around. Um, but like stuff like that and stuff like that will probably get put in the attic. So I can have some more storage up here for things like boxes and stuff like that for the big products that I that I purchase and unbox and all that kind of stuff. So that's how it's turned out so far. Um, I'm gonna keep working on it, working at it a little bit. I do have some other things to do though um, that I want to do. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from this right now and work on those things. So there we go. That's how it's looking. Um, so yeah, comment what you think down in the description. If you have any ideas for any of my setup or anything, leave them down in the comments. Okay, so here's the setup I'm going with for the light. I was able to tuck the legs kind of between the, the table legs there on both sides. Um, so both of them are out of the way. Um, you know, they're over the, the table, so they're not hanging out in the, the middle of the room or anything like that. So they're pretty well um, placed there. I don't mind them being there when I'm, you know, sitting over here at my desk. That doesn't bother me right there. So I'm going to leave them there and just kind of, you know, have them chill there and not, you know, move them around every time I use them. 
Um, so I also have the the power strips just kind of hanging on the the signum up here. Um, so the lamps are plugged into that. Uh, so this one just kind of dangles right there, but that's not a big deal. You can't see it when you're standing up. Um, and that one plugs in there as well. So there's no cables under the table um, from the lights or anything like that. And then on the Signum I also have the adapter for my camera. So this is like a battery pack kind of thing that goes into the camera um, and powers it without using a battery. So you can power it continuously. So like when I have my camera at my desk um, or on the tripod right here when I'm filming videos, I can use this instead of having to swap batteries in and out and stuff like that and worry about them you know, being charged or dying. So that's also plugged into the power strip right there and it's got a little disconnect right there so if you like trip over it or something like that it doesn't rip it out of the camera or knock the camera over it just unplugs in the middle of the cable. So that that's there and it's power adapters right there. So I use that when I'm when I'm recording videos at the desk and stuff like that. Um, also a new angle I'm hoping for is um, something like this. Um, so if I want to talk or something like that we can kind of have an angle like that a little bit lower maybe. Have something on the table right here and you can kind of like see me and my, my setup and stuff like that while I'm talking or unboxing or reviewing something, um, doing different stuff like that. So that's something I'm hoping to bring out in the near future as a new style of videos um, as opposed to, you know, just facing straight down at the table like that all the time. Um, you'll be able to see me, um, what I'm doing, unboxing the video, unboxing the product or reviewing the product, stuff like that. Um, so that's something I hope to bring out in the near future. That's also another reason why the lights are right here like this. Um, I can twist them to the side they turn pretty easily so I can turn that one as well and it'll kind of light the table in my setup and stuff like that when I'm doing a video like that and then I can just twist it back if I want to use it on the table itself so that's something that's quite nice um, also when I have the blinds open um, if I have the camera right about here um, on my setup the lighting isn't too bad just from the, the natural sunlight um, and with the blinds like that I get I get plenty of white light it's not like orange or anything like that so it's, it's pretty good lighting also, um, I'm, I'm hoping to eventually get, I don't know why, it's not expensive or anything, a cable to plug in my camera to my Elgato um, so I can plug into my computer and directly record um, to my computer. Um, so things like streaming and stuff like that, you know, I can use this camera from this angle, stuff like that. I just need to go pick one up. They're like five, ten, fifteen dollars $15. Um, I just haven't gone and gotten one yet or ordered one. Um, but I need a, like a micro HDMI to HDMI to do that and I'll plug it into my computer and then I can use OBS and stuff like that to stream. So that's that's the setup, pretty much how it's going to stay. Um, that's like the fi finished version of it right here. Just some little odds and ends to do. I did get everything plugged in right there. Um, I unplugged the Ethernet um, power line adapter from the power strip because I know that's not recommended. So it's plugged in under the desk right there. You can see the green lights on it. Um, I did wrap those cables with one cable tie so far. Um, if I get another one, they'll pretty much be up high enough to where you can't really see them anymore. So that's pretty nice. I do need to move that hard drive over to the other side of the desk and plug it in though because the USB cable doesn't reach to the computer. But that's that's that. That's the new setup. Um, so hoping to bring, bring out um, some new video style. Let me put it on the tripod real quick and turn the lights on and I'll kind of show you what you're going to be getting um, when I do something like that. So that is, that's both lights at full brightness. Um, they're still facing the table and they're not facing the chair. Um, so something like that is what you'd get if I want to unbox something, you know, I can, I can angle it down a little bit um, or angle it over here, stuff like that if I'm talking, um, doing like a, you know, whatever news video kind of thing. I don't really do too many of those, but um, you can kind of do that. Or I can, I can lower the tripod itself um, like that and raise the camera a little bit so you kind of get more um, you'll be able to see me fully and you know whatever's on the table right here I can still probably lower it a little bit you know further down so you get more desk you probably still have me in that as well um, so a lot of different shots I'll be able to do this way um, and you know you won't, be able to, you won't have to look at my disgusting desk setup since it's all cleaned up now so that's kinda cool um, gonna be a lot more to come for tech out so if you guys aren't already, aren't already subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button. We are taking this channel to the top. Uh, gaming videos, reviews, unboxings. I have a bunch of reviews lined up. They're small products, but they're products that I am reviewing. Um, so there's going to be a bunch of different content coming out here soon. Um, right now I have a video every day this week. I have two scheduled to upload. One scheduled for today, one scheduled for tomorrow. And the video right now will be for Friday. Um, so 
expect more content like this where it is more than just staring at my desk unboxing something. Um, expect more office videos and setup videos and computer videos and stuff like that. So if you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you give that uh, subscribe button a click. If you want to be notified when I upload new videos, click that little bell icon and you will be notified. So that is the setup right now, how it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, start piecing it together and get it ready for you guys. Like I said, it's going to be up on Friday, well, 30 Friday when you're watching this. Um, but I'm going to start piecing it together. There will be a desk setup um, office tour kind of video coming soon where it's less of me rambling and more of me showing you in depth what my setup is like and what I have on it and stuff like that. So make sure you click that like button if you want to see something like that. This has been Colin with Tech Out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a great day.